a Red Sox fan becomes a YouTube sensation by deciding to take on an entire section of Yankees fans at Yankee Stadium during a Yankees-Tigers game. Why this has to be one of the dumbest things I've ever seen. Hey everybody, it's Paulie. Welcome back to This Week in Red, where we're talking all things Red Sox and Major League Baseball. If you haven't already seen it, go to YouTube and check out a video that's gone viral in the last few days called Mayhem in Section 328, What Not to Wear as a Red Sox fan in Yankee Stadium. And in it, you'll see a, a girl trying to take on an entire section of Yankees fans, apparently in a drunken stupor. And this girl is lucky that she wasn't seriously injured. She's kicked down a couple of rows of seats and hits her head on a railing in the section. She's lucky she wasn't paralyzed or worse or had some traumatic head injury. All because she decided to be a tough guy and try to take on an entire section of Yankees fans. And let's face it, what is she doing in Yankee Stadium in Red Sox gear at a Yankees Tigers game? Now, I'm not saying that you have no right to wear what you want to wear to a baseball game, but if you're going to wear a Red Sox cap, don't shoot your mouth off and provoke Yankee fans. I mean, obviously her visit to the stadium was a far cry from mine last year when I visited the bleachers of Yankee Stadium. But the difference was I knew that if I'm going to be in Yankee Stadium and I'm going to be severely outnumbered, if I'm going to wear my Red Sox gear, I pretty much got to keep my mouth shut, which I did, and in the end I had a pretty good experience. The Yankee fans, as I said in the clip that I did last year, they were very good to me and I had a good time. But to do the things that this girl did in this video, to provoke these fans and expect to come out on top, was ridiculous. But the problem is we live in a YouTube culture right now. And if you listen towards the end of the video, you'll hear somebody yell out, this is going on YouTube. And the fan culture as a result at stadiums all over the country has been just abysmal. Because people want to become famous and they want to become famous in five minutes. And picking fights with Yankee fans if you're a drunken Red Sox fan seems to be the easiest way to do it. But it's very dangerous and it takes away from the interest in the game, the fun of the game, and it's why a lot of people don't want to spend money to bring their kids to these games. And that's another thing. Why you would spend between $50 and $100 on a ticket to a Yankees game, a Yankees-Tigers game nonetheless, and you're a Red Sox fan, and you proceed to get kicked out and beat up as a result, is just mind-boggling. Why you would waste your money to do that, I don't know. But again, this is the fan culture we live in now. And I'm certainly not in favor of it, and I'm sure a lot of you out there think that when you watch this video, you're going to think it's absolutely ridiculous. And again, if you read the comments related to this video under the video on YouTube, the main tone seems to be, this girl's wearing Red Sox gear, she's shooting her mouth off in Yankee Stadium, what result does she expect? She got what she deserved. Now, you never want to see anybody get seriously injured, and the fact that she popped up right away after hitting her head on the railing is amazing to me. But this is just a symptom of a larger problem in society. You got to act civilized if you go to these games, and you got to be smart enough to know that if you're in enemy territory, keep your mouth shut if you're outnumbered. So, have you guys seen the video? And if you have, what are your comments on it? And how would you behave in a situation like this? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and tell all your friends about this week in red.